In the video for today, I'm going to show you how to check and see if your Android phone is hacked. If it is hacked, I'm going to give you a solution to this problem so that you ensure that your phone is 100% secured. Watch my video till the end. Have you ever noticed that sometimes your Android phone behaves weirdly as in when you open an application, some other application pops up when you are surfing on the Chrome browser, any other browser, you have all these pop ups on your screen or when you are actually on the home screen itself, you see a light blinking right to the top of your screen. Now, these weird things happening on your phone may just be a sign that your phone is hacked, but it is not actually 100% true. Sometimes when you download an application, you have an add on with it and uh, with these add ons, you know, all these things happen. But to ensure that your phone is actually not hacked, these are the things that you need to do. So get hold of your Android device and get to settings directly. Once you do that, I want you to scroll down and go to Google and you are directed to Google services for your phone. Click on all services, scroll down a bit here under connected devices and sharing. This is the first thing that you need to check to ensure whether or not your phone is hacked. If you click on cast options, you could see that uh, this is automatically turned on so that you could connect with uh, your smart TV and stuff like that. So this is okay. You get back and you get to devices. So most of the time by default, this is turned on automatically. Now down here under save devices, if you see a list of devices, that's okay. But if you see a device that is connected to your phone, which you do not recognize, and you get to know that it is a smartphone or a laptop or a PC in a different location apart from your house. It means that your phone is hacked because if there is somebody connected to your phone in your house, it's going to be either through your smart TV or your own laptop and stuff like that. Most probably nobody is going to hack your phone from your house. But most of the time, if your phone is hacked and a device is connected to it, it is going to be of a different location and you're going to see it here. So what you can do is to prevent this, you could go ahead and disconnect the device and you could turn this option off so that your device is not automatically scanning for other devices or other devices cannot locate your device. Now, apart from that, the second thing what you could do is under Google services, click on connected apps. Once you do that, you get directed to the screen on which you see whatever third party apps are using Google services or your Google account. But if you do not recognize an application out here, it is a possibility that it has been installed without your permission. So, which means your phone may just be hacked. I want you to go ahead and uninstall that application immediately. Because when an application is installed on your phone, it gets access to your phone's camera, the microphone and many other services, which ultimately means that whatever you are doing on your phone or saying probably is getting tracked. So uninstall that application and ensure that every week you get to this part of your Google account and you ensure that unauthorized applications are not installed on your phone. Now, apart from the connected apps on your phone, what you could also do is scroll down under Google services and get to this part for children and family. Under this, you get to parental controls. And once you are on the screen, you are going to get an option to set this up. This allows you to ensure that your kid is using their phone properly. So if you get an option to set this up, it means that you are safe. Your phone is not hacked, but if you do not get an option to set up parental controls on your phone, it means that somebody else has already done it on your phone and is controlling your phone. So if you see that, I want you to turn that off immediately so that your phone is safe and ultimately your data and you are safe. Apart from that, what you could also do is under personal and device safety, click on unknown tracker alerts and ensure that this option is turned to on because when you're traveling, you never know there is a hacker near you who is actually trying to track your phone because your phone by default as an Android device has the option for getting traced automatically on by default. So if you turn this on, you are going to get an alert that there is a device that is trying to track your phone or trying to connect to your phone. 
So if that actually happens, you are going to be alerted and you could block the device or you could remove the device or you could actually turn your tracking off on your phone or go to airplane mode so that your phone is absolutely safe. I hope this helps and I hope you got some value. If you did, give my video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. Take care, my friend.